What I wanted to do first of all was quickly touch upon the fact that tonight uh, in the council chamber, Rill Henwood's work called Subtropical Treasures out at the Mount Cutha Gardens is getting its 30 seconds of fame with the local councillor, Greg Adaman, talking about the new reinstallation out at Mount Cutha. Now, David, you know how important it is to get these little bits of history into the public record, into the minutes of uh, the council. And I think you also know real, don't you? I certainly do. For a while there, I had the uh, honour of being the patron for the Queensland Sculptors uh, Society. And they would have an annual exhibition at the uh, Botanical Gardens up in Mount Cooper. So uh, I used to preside at some of those uh, exhibitions. And Queensland has got some great sculptors, but uh, we need to have local authorities principally and governments generally uh, much more involved in uh, patro I was going to say patronising, but uh, extending patronage to uh, sculptors because sculpture is the most democratic art form. It's in places where people are. It's uh, sculpture that they're able to see. And uh, so it's much more accessible. So I'm delighted that uh, uh, Rill's work has, having been moved a couple of times, is now finally uh, going to be where it should have been all along, I think, probably, uh, the Mount Cooper Botanical Gardens. Yes, no, it's, a, it's a brilliant tribute. Under the leadership of curator Dale Arvidson, the challenge to maintain the, uh, the Botanic Gardens as one of the city's major tourist attractions has not just been achieved but exceeded, positioning them right up there with South Bank as one of the key tourist attractions in this city. No easy feat for this administration given the other projects on the go. His dedication and passion for the gardens is second to none and highly infectious. It's hard not to be interested in the stories behind the thousands of species of plants on show. On a recent inspection of the gardens, Dale pointed out a new feature which demonstrates to me the Schrinner administration's respect to the history of this city by reinventing an attraction that was central to Brisbane hosting the Brisbane Commonwealth Games in 1982, to it potentially featuring as a selling point for our bid to host the 2032 Olympic Games. I'm referring to a work created by a, Brisbane, a prominent Brisbane sculptor, Rill Hinwood, called George Street Fountain, which was unveiled by Queen Elizabeth in 1982 while in Brisbane for the Commonwealth Games. As the CBD has undergone a major transformation over the years, George Street Fountain could have easily just become another memory. But it has been brought back to life at the Botanic Gardens under the new name of Subtropical Treasures and I predict it will become one of the city's most popular wedding gardens. Set as a backdrop to lush green lawns, the carvings on each of the pieces to, uh, depict native fauna, once common throughout Brisbane tree, uh, Brisbane, tree ferns, palms, orchids, wild ginger, wild berries and fungi. Finally, Mr Chair, I would like to uh, congratulate uh, Kath Thornton, who last week became the new president of the Brookfield Show Society.